So this is something small that I noticed while I was exploring the gray area in Toonfest. So if you go over to this big hill here, and then go over um, behind here where you see the, the path, um, the hole, and the mailbox, and then use this glitch to go through the wall around uh, this corner right here. And go through the wall that one time use. You notice that there is a cog dummy back here. Um, there's only two reasons I can think of that this cog dummy would be here. And that is because um, either the, the developers just thought that they had enough dummies and this was like an extra one they had, and instead of just removing it from the game, they just decided to move it to the side here. Um, and it's just completely functional, as you can see I'm hitting it, um, and I slow down part of the Toonfest Tower, so it is a completely functional cog dummy. Um, the second reason that it could be back here is that maybe it's supposed to be like over here or something. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, but basically just out, outside here somewhere. Um, and then a bug occurred that caused it to move a little bit outside. Um, other than that, I have no idea why this cog demo would be here. Maybe the developers just wanted to put in a secret, but um, I don't know why they would even do that because there's no point, no one would be able to reach it. So, kind of useless really. Um, maybe if they ever catch this video, maybe they'll either take it away or they'll actually move it somewhere where people can actually reach it. So, yeah. Um, so another thing I wanted to show, I'm not sure, I might have to cut away and get that glitch back again. Yeah, actually we'll have to, so I'll be right back. Okay, so for the next thing I wanted to show, was that if you go over to, um, small slope here and face the face on um, the downward part of the slope. Um, and then do the glitch. Uh, while you go down, you will actually... You'll, you'll, you'll continue going down, basically, while you're doing the glitch. And then press cancel on the east state button, you'll still be going down. And then going backward will, will make you go up. That's cool. So, what I want to show is here, the ripples. Ripples, red ripples in the air. Well, the reason they're here is because, um, see the lake here? This is actually the level, the same level that the surface of the lake is at. So, the, the only reason I can think of for this one is that, um, for, I'm not sure for all places, but for Toonfest definitely, um, there's like a, a layer of, like, like, water basically, and throughout the whole map, throughout the whole gray area and beyond, um, it's just um, this ripple, ripple effect here, and any time a tune comes in contact with that layer, it causes you, you'll see the ripple effect. And I think if it has the correct coding um, for swimming, like down stock, acorn acres, or your east date, then going below the, the ripples will actually cause your tune to start swimming. I don't know about that one. Uh, I think that doing the glitch in down stock or acorn acres will cause your tune to the same thing to happen. It'll just go underneath it and keep walking. But if you do the glitch correctly, you might be able to find a way to go underwater and start swimming, like actually start swimming. So yeah, in the next one, I might have to cut away to more to take time, but um, I think I could just show it right here. So we go underneath the ground here, you know, no, you'll notice that there is a beanbag over there. Very unusual beanbag, right? Well, I'll cut away and get over to it and I'll explain it in a second. Okay, here it is, the beanbag. So, um, why is this beanbag here? Well, um, it's not just because it's just a glitch and it's supposed to be over here, it's just over here for some weird reason. This is actually an area that a beanbag can actually spawn. Like, it's not just the spawn point's over there and it was moved. I mean, the, the actual spawn point is right here. The same thing with the dummy cog over there. Um, the spawn point probably bugged out and got moved over here. Either that, or, again, they probably thought they had enough places for beanbags to spawn, and just moved it over here instead of removing it. But I feel like, for both the cog dummy and this beanbag, it, it, it just has, it's just because a bug occurred that caused them to move away from the actual map. And I can actually collect this beanbag. As you can see, I just collected the beanbag. And, um, in a second, the beanbag will actually respawn. Um, you're gonna notice something a little strange. You're gonna notice a little treasure that's going to pop up like below the spawn point. 
And um, I'll explain what that is once we see it. You can actually see them over here. Like, see that? Do you see that starfish down there, or uh, that snowflake that's below the map? Um, the reason that's there is because it's actually right underneath the spawn point of another beanbag or treasure. And most other playgrounds, um, you can see them in. I know you can see them in Toontown Central, definitely. Um, so basically, though, as I said, now the starfish over there. Um, for about 10 seconds each, whenever a uh, beanbag or treasure is collected, I don't even think it matters if it was collected, I think it just matters if one's about to spawn or something. Whatever, there's, here, there's, a, and there's a popsicle down here, right below this one, see? Uh, and there, you can actually collect them too. Like, you can, if you were had um, low and laugh and you collect one of them, they'll actually work for the 10 seconds that they exist for. It's gonna disappear in a second. So, um, Basically what they are is, it's almost as if they're acting like a placeholder for um, the treasure that's going to spawn either up here, or another treasure that's somewhere over here. Um, I don't know what it's a placeholder for, I think it's just supposed to be like, oh, uh, here's a, there's a treasure down here, and um, basically, I think it's basically just supposed to say like, in a few seconds, a treasure is going to spawn above it, and then when it does, uh, that will disappear. It's almost as if you're taking the treasure that's down here and moving it to another spot. However, just because we saw a popsicle down here doesn't necessarily mean that um, a popsicle will actually spawn. It will actually spawn over there as a popsicle. It could change. It could. Um, it could be. If we're in a tune fest, it could actually spawn. It could like be a popsicle down here, and then maybe it will move over here and be a starfish. Or it will be a starfish down here, and maybe, maybe it will move later on and become a tune fest bag. What's strange is that um, Toonfest, this does not work for Toonfest bags. Basically, you will not find a Toonfest bag below the surface here. There will always be a treasure. I have never seen a Toonfest bag down here, so that's the only thing I can say about it. And what's also strange is that this uh, beanbag should have respawned already. And it has not. I have no idea why it has not respawned yet. Um, it's probably just because none of the beanbag, none of the stuff over here is being taken, so there isn't really a, doesn't really have a chance to, to respawn. What I can try to do is have one of my friends collect another beanbag. Yeah, I'll be right back and have one of my friends collect the beanbag. Okay, so the beanbag respawned. So, as you can see, this bag isn't just something, a bag, that random bag that's over here that glitched out and went over here, it's an actual spawn point for a bag. Um, and if you are lucky enough, you'll actually be able to see, um, the treasure below it. Um, the treasure below that acts as a placeholder. So yeah, it's kind of a weird little, little treasure bag that's out here, and a weird little cog that made out there. Oh, got one over there, just flapping around, just, you know, just hanging out over there. <laughs> you go underneath the ground, it comes back. Strangely enough, confetti still spawns even though we're in the gray area, and this confetti just is gonna fall for infinity or just fade away. I guess that works too. <laughs> fall for infinity and fade away later on. That's excellent. So yeah, um, that's why I have to. That's why uh, uh, that I have to show. Um, so yeah, see you guys later.